Hi guys. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We don't say hey almost. No, we don't. I nearly did. That's our Happy Healthy Homer channel. If you are not a viewer of that channel, then you should be. Welcome back to our channel. We are in Florida. If you've guessed, if you're like, why is Keegan driving on that side of the road? It's because we're in Florida right I'm, now. I'm on this side of the road. But on I'm this not side. that side of the car. That side of the car, <laughs> that's what I mean. And why is Keegan red? Keen's red because he's sunburned. He forgot to put sun cream on all day. It's now about 4.30 p.m. I've been appropriately admonished by Joe. <laughs> he's just put sun cream on like now and I'm like, well, it's too late now. Well, I didn't <laughs> You've done feel, the damage. I didn't feel like I was burning and it wasn't that hot earlier. Yeah. It is February. It is February, but it's still in Florida. That's big. Oh, this is, look how fancy this is. What the hell is this? It's is this all Gil dealer market, Joe? It's so it's a sun. mall. From here. Anyway, what are we doing right now, Keegan? We are just about to drive into an hotel. We're not, well, we are staying at a hotel tonight, but we basically thought we would, because we stay at Joe's parents' house. Yeah. Um, but there we, it is. Oh, I'm in the wrong way. But we thought we'd get a hotel that's a bit closer to Orlando yeah. town, and we are going to go gay. Go gay. We're gonna go gay. Well, we just thought that it was nice to go to some gay bars, isn't it? Again, I feel weird saying that because I think my perception of it, and I think lots of straight people's perception of it, is that- uh, Hotel entrance. Yeah. Oh, a bit further up. Like gay bar to me always felt like, oh, it's something seedy and stuff, but it's not, it's just, it's A, they do better music, and B, you're sort of free to just relax and be yourself. As like, I can hold Keegan's hand knowing that I'm not is gonna get- Yes, here. That I'm not gonna get punched. Do you know what I mean? We're here. Hotel lobby and registration, self parking. So I guess we go down here. So it's self parking. I thought it was gonna be following. Oh, damn it. But yeah, so we, we thought um, in actual Orlando City, there's probably bound to be more of a nightlife. So we're like, let's have one night, spontaneous night at the hotel, and we'll get an Uber into town um, or city, and we'll take you along with us. Yeah. It might be an absolute car crash. It, it probably will, knowing us. Just because we've been to parking garage, that's right. In here? Yeah. Yeah, this is right. Oh, there's the pool. That's where we're going straight away. Peel. We're gonna go to the pool and read our books for a bit. But yeah, we've been to a few places since being here, a few little bars, and they've just oh. been awful. Maybe we get a refund on it. $35 a day. We're only here a day. True, fine. Um, right, we'll check in with you when we get into the room. Can we park anywhere? Mm -hmm. Ooh, get us in the pool. Did you just say this is where we make holiday we friends? We could make holiday friends. I mean, I'm I'm usually anti making holiday friends, but yeah, actually but it could be quite fun. Me and Joel have both said that we need to make constant efforts we to do. make more friends. Because we don't make friends, we just stick to our well, ourselves. We don't have any friends. We've got like three. <laughs> We've got three friends. Let's make some holiday friends. Mm, maybe not. There's lots of people we can small children. Oh, absolutely not. Oh God, small. We should have gone to an adults only hotel. I see, whenever I see adults only, that always makes me think X rated. Sexy, yeah. Yeah, I think it literally just means adults only. It but does, <laughs> I know, that's my internalized sexy phobia. <laughs> sexy phobia. The cabanas up there, it's key, so maybe that's an adults only pool. Fabulous. Oh, this is swanky. Look, valet parking. Oh, it's huge, guys. The scale of American hotels is ridiculous. I can't see on camera, but he's just realized how burnt he is on That's his nose. Oh, Joel. <laughs> oh, wow. We're on the 31st floor, guys. Okay. This is huge. This is massive. We actually paid an extra $15 to upgrade to a pool view. Because he said, do you want to upgrade? Normally, a pool view room is an extra $30, but I could do it for you for $15. So let's see what the view's like, even. It's a pool. I mean, we're quite hot. We, 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 if you crick your neck. Oh my God. <laughs> he did say, is the 31st floor okay? I was like, yeah, I think so. And then I didn't realize how high up the 31st floor is. Is that because Americans are fussy? Because he was he was very like, is the 31st floor okay? I'm like, I I don't mind. What do you think? What's your think impression? Burn, that's what I think. <laughs> There's so much room for activities. Wow, lovely. How exciting, how spawn of us. I know, we're so spontaneous. Let's go to the pew. Let's go to the pew. Oh. Oh. 
week on, you get towels out. Right, so we're at the pool. This is not actually the pool you're going to come to, but it's nice. Saves stuff in around. Yeah. Right, let's find a bed in the sun. So, so those ones over there, maybe. So we've just found some beds, and I don't know how many of you will care, but this plant I've actually got in in the spare room. It's called it's something like a Sheffala Gerda or something like that. It's thriving here. It's not doing so well in my rainy England room. Ah. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna sail down the. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm gonna sail down the side of the hotel. Can you see that, guys? There's people absolutely. Can you imagine if they were doing that past one of your rooms? Past your rooms? <laughs> and you opened your curtains. <laughs> It'd be terrifying. And then they're like, go on and, ah! <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't say I want to do that, and yet, surely they have to tell people when they're doing it down their rooms. They're just having a good old peek. Well, guys, this hotel is freaking huge. We're walking around at the minute and um, the pool was too cold. It was so windy. The pool itself was really cold and the jacuzzi was full. Was so I was so miserable. Well, you were, so you went, F this, we've got to go. <laughs> so we've taken a look at the other pool, which is a lot quieter. Oh, look how burnt you are, babe. I've got a lovely <laughs> brown for like half a day and then go yeah. back. <laughs> so what should we do? Should we go back to the room then? Should we get, what's the market? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of something, something to, to, eat. to eat. There's a whole list of things. I think it's a conference center as well as a Sounds hotel. Noisy. There's like a food market, guys, inside the hotel. So you can you can pick some food like salads and sandwiches, or they've got some pizzas and stuff, or you can buy drinks over here. If only apples came with their own protective layer. <laughs> Americans are ridiculous with their plastic usage. Sorry, guys. We've just come to one of the hotel bars. It's looking very lovely. It's not too busy either. It's not warm. It's very windy. I don't know why, In winter, we spent all day in Winter Garden. It's been hot, it's not been windy. As soon as we arrived here, went by the pool, and now it's Nithered. been so cold. Neither. Not cold, just windy. Um, but we have just had a drink in the bar, and we are heading to a taco place now. Rocco's Tacos. Then, after there, <laughs> for pay. Not for pay. <laughs> for free. For free. We've got some mojitos. Cheers. Sláinte. We're in a very cool Mexican restaurant. What's it called? Tacos. Tacos. Uh, we just had a very chatty cafe Uber driver. We told us their full backstory. Oh my gosh, full life story. I mean, lovely girl. Com completely making things up. She said, yeah, I gave my, got my daughter a scooter and she said to me- 14 year old girl. My 14 year old daughter said, mom, you've not just given me a scooter, you've given me my freedom. <laughs> we were like, that didn't happen. You said that to her. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna enjoy some Mexican food now. Lovely. Here we go, we've gone for tacos. We've got six tacos and some mosquitoes, which are my absolute favorite. Smile. <laughs> Grave stones. So we went on to the Savoy Club bar gay place <laughs> um, and then it's next to somewhere called Ivanhoe they're literally linked together and um, we had a few drinks in there and we were sat down talking to the bartender and just asking about what gay life was like in Orlando mm -hmm. and it was really sad because he actually told us that before the Pulse nightclub shooting there were actually a lot more gay bars and since then they've just been closing and he said that there's only really about two gay nightclubs or bars that are like the Savoy that are still open. Um, there are a few sort of dive bars as well, but he said ones like the Savoy with proper good nightlife, entertainers, drag performers, 
a really nice vibe. There's two of them in the whole of Orlando. Yeah, so there was Savoy and Ivanhoe, which are essentially the same place, mm -hmm. uh, like next to each other. Yeah. And then there was Southern Nights, yeah. uh, which we didn't go to. <laughs> because? Um, it, well, look, it turned well, out luckily. it was a, a big old lesbian night that night. <laughs> um, so we, we might have been a little bit um, out of our depth there. I have never in my life been to, I, I mean, it's not a lesbian nightclub, but I've never been to a lesbian nightclub or a lesbian night. So it would have been an experience, but uh, yeah, luckily yeah. we we went to Savoy instead. Yeah, we did the whole thing of googling gay bars in Orlando, and they were mm -hmm. all like really. I mean, like everything is in in the states is really spread out. Um, yeah, we did go into a dive bar, but we left immediately. It was a bit seedy. We had no idea the the article online at TripAdvisor made it seem really fun and really lighthearted, lovely. It was not our vibe, so we yeah. had one drink. There were no windows left. and it was just a bit. Um, but the Savoy was lots of fun. The staff were really friendly. Um, the people were really nice. It got really busy as well. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't try Southern Nights, but no. yeah, give it a go. Yeah. And it's always worth going to uh, check the Pulse Memorial, the nightclub's been turned mm -hmm. into a memorial now. Um, I've been before and it's um, it's it's very impactful and emotional. So yeah, yeah, you know, check that out. But it was a great night in general. We had lovely tacos as you saw and we went back to our hotel after the night out and then checked out on Sunday and went home. Yeah, and it was then crash bang wallop. I know, but it was a nice thing to do, wasn't it? To take time away and just do something a little bit different. Definitely. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. We post videos. Well, we try to post videos every single week. We try. We try. We try. But we do have about four or five banked at the moment. Yeah, so they're coming. They're, they're coming. coming. So subscribe so you don't miss them. Thank you for checking us out. Not like that. <laughs> uh, but we appreciate it and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.